it reduces stress, it alleviates depression. It just increases all of your happiness and people feel so content afterwards. But will the Dragons be satisfied that Claire's Enterprise offers an uplifting investment opportunity? Hello, my name's Claire Gelder and I'm the Managing Director of the Wool Couture Company. Today, I'm here to ask for £50,000 in return for 10% of our business. Knitting, it's been around for thousands of years, but recently there's been a real resurgence in this handcraft. We now have the likes of Kate Middleton, Uma Thurman, and we even have Russell Crowe knitting and crocheting. We're an online retailer and we specialise in bigger yarn, tools, DIY kits and handmade finished products. But we do it with a difference. We believe that people no longer want to spend weeks and months handcrafting items. We have scarves that can be finished in an hour. We have hats that can be finished in two hours and even our giant blankets can be finished in an evening or two. We've been trading for 18 months through Etsy, not on the high street, and also our own website. We've sold over 13,000 units. We've taken over half a million pounds. And with your investment, we can be the worldwide retailer of DIY kits in knitting, crochet, macrame and weaving. Now, Peter, can I give you a knitting lesson, please? Yeah. A cosy pitch from crafty entrepreneur Claire Gelder. Are the needles normally this big? <laughs> she wants a sizeable £50,000 investment to go global with her giant knitting and weaving kits, and in return, she's offering a 10% stake. No, that's cheating, that is. I've just invented a quicker way of doing it, though. Cheating. This is called Pete's knit. <laughs> Peter Jones appears pleased with the supersized product, but Jenny Campbell wants to get a better handle on the entrepreneur's handicraft range. Obviously, it's got some following, this, this large yarn, but where is the majority of the sales? My best-selling product is a baby blanket. OK. Um, so our target market are mums or mums-to-be. So that's interesting, because it's almost like you're trying to get a new generation into knitting. And it gets people off tablets and phones for a <laughs> while, and maybe you sit there chatting and having a glass of sherry or something. That's that's, that's Well, let marvelous. me tell you something. I, um, I've suffered with depression since I was 18 years old. I manage it. It's never had me off work. And the one thing that stopped me from ever taking a tablet has been crafting, because when I'm not feeling good, mm. I can focus on something, and it takes you out of the, oh, my God, this might happen, into the here and now, and that's my therapy. Okay. Claire, good Super. on you. Yeah. Thank you. You did a half a million turnover? In year one, we took 140,000. 140. And in year two, we took 370,000. 370. And what was the gross profit <coughs> on that? 35%. So why is it such a low margin? I was quite proud of that. No, but remember, hold on. <laughs> if you sell something online, it must be a bigger than 35%. It is. For example, we have um, the DIY pom-pom hat here, so that has a cost of £10 to actually produce. Right. We would then retail that to customers at £50. Right. So your margin from £10 to 50 is not 35%. It's 80%. This 35% that you claim to be your margin, are you sure you're not talking about cost of sales? Yeah. Are there any other costs that you put in your cost of goods? Um, there's our postage. Your postage must be absolutely astronomical to reduce a margin that blends between 50 and 80 down to 35%. It must be... So we, we charge for the postage. Well, then that's but... not it. So <laughs> can we go back to the margin? <laughs> I don't understand. And what would worry me much more is if you don't understand how you get to 35%, because right now it's impossible. Our, our 
Gross profit is our turnover minus um, our cost of our goods yeah. and the labour. And, that and the labour, which like, labour? So, so that's the cost of me, my knitters. So your cost of goods is including your labour as well? Our gross profit is minus the labour. That's your answer, that's yeah. really good. I just wish you said that at the beginning. Apologies. So Claire, what do you want the Dragon's money for? I'd really like to grow the American market. Um, and knitting is going to explode in China. I want to be the first one with the foot in there. Out of the 370,000 turnover last year, how much of that was online to the US? 25%. Whoa! That's impressive. And what that tells me is there's a potential in America. There's a huge potential in America. We have 56 million knitters, and we can also see the concentration of the states in which they're more active as well. What we've got to focus on is market penetration. We've got to get more people knowing us. Is there anybody in the UK that's doing what you're doing? Um, my biggest competition is Wool and the Gang. Their biggest yarn is our smallest yarn. I thought, right, I'm going to beat them out of the water. With a competitive edge and transatlantic expansion plan, it looks like Claire's back on track with the Dragons. Is an investment knitting together for Deborah Meaden. I think you've done a fantastic job. I can see exactly the market you're going for and actually the whole crafting thing, the mindfulness, the, you know, being in the present, it, it just, buys into all of those things. I do worry about the longevity of it. And I am a little bit torn because I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to go quiet for a minute while the other dragons <laughs> think about what they're doing. I admire what you've done. Your, your story is brilliant. lovely. Thank you. The big concern that I have is, is really the, the actual size of the market. I think you're right. You do need to get your brand out there. <clears throat> Marketing is important. And um, I can see the potential, although it's niche. My company does a lot of marketing. Um, we're the largest advertisers in our industry. So I'm actually going to make you an offer. But I'd like to have another dragon on board who understands the industry a bit more. So I'll offer you half the money, 25,000 pounds, but for 15% of the business, which would mean another dragon would have to match. So that would work out 50,000 pounds for 30% equity shared between two dragons. Thank you for your offer. Thank you. Tej Lalvani's backing the business, but is only willing to put up half the cash. The rules of the den dictate that Claire needs another investor to match this offer, or she'll leave with nothing. Claire, I believe that you can make this into a bigger business, definitely. And I could be really tempted to make you probably a 50% offer. But I actually think I'm going to leave it to the ones who can, I believe, add most value to where you're going and say, I'm out. Another dragon down, and with just half an offer on the table, Claire's business dreams could be left in tatters. Unless fashion mogul Tuka Suleiman pursues a deal and adds the Woolcraft kits to his existing investment. I love it. I believe I'm the one dragon that can take you to where you want to go. <laughs> I could help you with creating a US website and localising it, new products, do it all for you. I'm willing to give you all the money, but for 30%. At the same time, you may well find that two dragons are better than one, right? And I'm willing to share one dragon or two dragons. Thank you very much for your offer. Two bids to choose from. I'm just going to take a minute. 
But with both demanding a 30% equity stake, 20% more than Claire wants to give away, will their expertise come at too high a price? I'm not going to quibble with you on, on the percentage of the business. I respect both of you and I think I can see great opportunities with both of you. And I would like to accept the offer with both of you. Great! Great! <laughs> well done. You get a kiss. Mm. OK? Mm. OK. Well done. Excellent. Excited. No, we, we'll make this really work. Very pleased. Well done, Claire. Well done. Thank you. Well done. So, no negotiation, but a double deal and a giant boost for the big wool business. I'm absolutely over the moon to have secured not only one, but two dragons. I want to jump up and down, I want to do a dance, and then I want to have the glass of champagne that I put in the fridge last night. I thought she was great. Really yeah. good. Well done, yeah, yeah. really pleased you she know, got investment. And she deserves an investment. So you are going to give her the website, you weren't just spinning her a yarn. 